Hello, my name is Andy Venegas, Applications Engineering Manager with PSG California. So what we want to show today is how to properly install the integral piston diaphragm onto this PS430 pump. Now the integral piston diaphragm for the inch and a half pump uses a IPD diaphragm, a shaft stud, which we bottom the shaft stud out all the way into the integral piston diaphragm. We install the inner piston with the part number facing up. We take a shaft, and since the larger pumps will have the shaft with the stud integrated, the smaller one uses a shaft stud, so we drop a drop of Loctite into the threads on each side. Place the shaft onto the diaphragm assembly to get that started. We put on one liquid chamber. The one liquid chamber is going to lock one side in place. Once we get one side locked in place, we'll flip it over and repeat those same steps. Using the shaft stud and the integral piston diaphragm with an inner piston with the part number facing up, then we load it onto the shaft. Now, as you notice, it bottoms out and makes it tight, tough to try to tighten that diaphragm. If it's not properly preloaded with torque, that shaft stud will break. So what we have is an integral piston diaphragm torque tool where these clamp onto the beads here and here. We use a torque wrench to apply that torque. In order to get clearance, what we do is we use a diaphragm inverting tool. Install it onto this side, and you'll notice nothing happens when it's hooked up to this side. If it doesn't work there, we simply switch it, change it over to the opposite side. Once that's up high enough, we take our tool, loosen up each side, put the diaphragm bead into the groove. Tighten up the two knobs so that we get proper proper torque, make sure that it's there. Then we use our torque wrench set to 40 foot pounds. We place that onto the tool. We simply torque so we hit the proper torque. Once we're there, we can simply remove the tool. And you can see it didn't take much. One quarter turn past and tight is all we need. Once we're there, we know we have our 40 foot pounds of torque applied onto the bead. We can then take our liquid chamber, repeat the same thing we did to the other side to finalize the assembly. 